This is the same exact height the car was beforehand, before I dropped it. I feel like a monster truck. Yeah, this was uh, before your mom decided that you were an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an idiot. Actually, I might be. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Alright guys, what's up? So, today, what we're going to do is we're going to install fog lights on the Accord. Well, not install them replace them because i'm slightly an idiot and well there, there's a whole story what happened to my original fog light so the car does come with fog lights right and they're clear uh but the ones i have are these yellow ones right um so here's the thing with my fog lights right now one of my housings they got burnt from my hid which is right here. See if you can zoom in on that. Other way, other way. Let me see. No, no, no. Like, let me see the uh, Let me see the tent camera. <laughs> so, I don't know how well you guys could see that, but there's the burnt housing at the top there, sort of. So, I can't really fit a bulb in there. And I stopped running the fog lights after that because I realized my HIDs are going to burn the housing. So that, that bulb on this side burnt out. Alright, so for this install, this is all I really used. The car jack that comes with the car itself and the thing to turn it. I don't know what that's specifically called. Uh, I have two different flatheads. Uh, one big one to take out the cover itself and one little one I'll explain that in a little bit and I had two different screwdrivers one big one to take out the normal screws and the small one to take out the screw underneath the car to remove the bump or to loosen the bumper cover itself so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna just replace the whole housing with yellow the yellow ones did come with bulbs and we'll see how far we can get with that. So the first thing you obviously want to do is jack up the car because for these fog lights you gotta got you gotta get underneath and loosen a screw out. So I have my jack but I don't have the pipe to actually lift it up so we just use like the the one that came with the car so oh yeah if you didn't know where the jack points were there's one right on this side right here right where that jack stand is and the other one is right over here on this side same exact place literally so you could either lift up the car with the jacks on with with the jack in the center which is all right there sort of Actually, where? Oh, there it is. Yeah. So that thing right there, you could you could put your jack right there, lift the car up from the center, and then put your jack stands in the stand right there, or do what we're doing, use the car jack or the jack that came with the car, and then lift it up from there. And then the next step, what you gotta do is get underneath the car, uh, right around the same position I'm in. You'll see two holes, and in the right hole, you look with one eye or both you'll see you'll see a little screwdriver and what you want to do is get your screwdriver stick that in there i can't see with my glasses so. stick that in there oh shit <laughs> make sure your screwdriver is long enough that's number one because it's kind of it's a little deep hole in there that's what she said <laughs> Look at this man, trying to find screwdrivers. Ugly ass. So, I got a little bit of a longer screwdriver this time. That's what she said. <laughs> See if it fits in a hole. <laughs> Either one of those. So, since the hole's a little bit small, you might want to like a skinnier screwdriver just like this. You could either get the flat head or the four. Doesn't matter which one either one I just make sure it's a little bit smaller because it's a small screw yeah, let's try this again 
This is going to be the biggest struggle of my life. Next thing you're going to see, and when you're looking at your fog light, you see this little hole, right? What you want to do is you want to just push down on that screwdriver with it, and it should slightly pop out. Don't push down too hard and break the thing, please. <laughs> or try your best not to. Just nice and easy push down on that thing. And you'll see that this is starting to pop out. Just get your finger there, hold it, and then get your finger all the way around, and then it'll pop right out. Now next you'll see two screws. One right if it wants to focus. One screw right there. And there's another one a little deeper down underneath the fog light. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that one in frame. Take a screwdriver. And you're gonna want to take this out. Kind of slightly rusted, yo. Okay, once you get that screw out, once you get both screws out. Keep them on the side, you're gonna need them later. What you wanna do, just nice and easy, pull on the thing right here, pull down on it, it'll come right out. And then left, and then you can just pull your bulb right out. And then, since I kinda, I have an aftermarket HID kit already in here, I'm just gonna pull everything out real fast. So there's everything and there's the main switch just pull that out the next step you usually want to do with fogs is like before you put it in you want to check and make sure like the bulbs and everything work so that you don't put it in and they don't work so put this shit in Oh, there we go. Right, that's the right one. And you don't even have to have the car on. Just, you know, if you're going with the car, just turn it on. Turn that on. Is it on? It works. It works? Yes, sir. Sick. All you want to do is slide this free. Then, off the way. Ah. Now next, you want to do is just match up this first hole. Yeah, like like the closest hole to the thing. You could use the screws that they gave you, or use the ones that you had, like you know beforehand. Either one up to you. Hold the screw till you're there. Match up the fitment once you're in. Once you know the screws in both, you start tightening it up, and it should start lining up perfectly fine. Then once you know you got it tightly down, you can put in the other screw. It should be a little bit further in the back. That's it. This is a little bit more difficult. I mean, the one screw should be normally fine if you don't want to put on the second one. Because this one is a little bit more difficult than like it's a little bit of a bitch. Can't even fit my fingers in there. If you do get it in there, same exact thing though. It's always better to have both on though. Once they're in, take this piece, fit it right back in where it should be. You just push it in, it should all go right back into place perfectly fine and there's that fitment and then yeah it's a little bit off on yeah that's fine and then what you want to do is go underneath and retighten the other screw that was that you loosened before do you have that on me <laughs> I, was, I was hoping you like you zoned out so, yo. so yeah once you plug that in just check again, make every make sure everything works. It's on. So full time. Sick.
So for the other side, it's practically the, practically the same thing. So I don't think I'm really gonna shoot that side. But yeah. So here's a little bit of the better view of where I done goofed. You can see right there, like right along the white area right there. Housing burnt, bulb burnt. I don't have the bulb, burnt bulb on me, but there you go. You can see that right there. There we go. There's one. And there's two. I'll link the fog lights in the descrip description below. Uh, pretty easy install. Probably take about 30 to 45 minutes. Or, or less if you have everything and you didn't have to use the car jack like we did. But yeah, uh, other than that, I will see you guys on the next video. Uh, and yeah, see you later.